Hey everybody, Jennifer Laner here with jenlaner.com and I want to show you today how to connect your MailChimp opt-in form to your Facebook page. So if you could see here on the left, I've got these icons for Instagram and Twitter and Pinterest and I've got these apps across the top um, as well for people to click on and these this is very customizable um, within Facebook you can shuffle these things around to suit your needs um, I created these cute little pink pictures in Canva at canva.com I've got a video for that on my Facebook page um, in case you aren't familiar with Canva another great app is picmonkey.com but let's get to it so uh, the way that you set this up is you go to your MailChimp account and then you go over here to the top right and you scroll down to account. Once you get to account, you want to go to integrations. And as you see, there's all sorts of things you can integrate your MailChimp account with. So we're going to click Facebook and it's making me log in. Okay, and it's telling me that I'm going to have to switch from my page to my personal account. That's fine. Okay, so it's asking me which page I want to use for this. And I've see I've got lots of Facebook pages that I either um, own or am the administrator of, but I'm going to click Jen Laner. And what list do I want to use? This is asking me what list do I want the email addresses to dump into in my MailChimp account? So I'm going to say more good stuff. And then it's asking me to use sign up form tab. Yes, this is the tab that's going to show up on your Facebook page. And what theme do we want? Okay, we're going to choose Facebook-esque. Okay, and so if we didn't put a label on the tab, it would just say email sign up, but I'm going to say don't miss my updates. Um, if, this, if this particular button, I could also say sign up for my free webinar um, or um, click here to receive my 20-day paleo plan or whatever your giveaway is. You can name it whatever you like. And now I'm gonna click Save. I'm gonna test the connection. And that worked. So now I'm going to go back to the Facebook page. I'm going to hit Reload. And right here it says, don't miss my updates. And when I click on that, there's the form for people to sign up. And so when they enter their email and their name, then it will automatically dump into um, my, my MailChimp email list. Now, if you want your tabs to look cute, because what Facebook will get, I mean, um, let's see if it did it. Okay, it didn't do this here because I had already created a cute little tab, but when you do this, it will auto, it will automatically give you like a little envelope icon from MailChimp and uh, and I really do recommend that you brand it um, according to your company colors your page colors or whatever it's just so easy to do in um, Canva or PicMonkey so this is how you would do it you go into settings then you're gonna click apps and then right here where it says, says MailChimp, I'm gonna to go to Edit Settings, and then right here where it says Custom Tab Image, this is where I had put um, the tab before. So I could just pick any image I want to put there by just choosing the file and it would go there. But I'm gonna leave this as it is um, but let me click on that one more time. It's telling me that the size of the image must be 111 by 74 pixels. And um, 
So you just write that down and when you go to PicMonkey or you go to Canva, it allows you to create a custom size right off the right off the bat and there you go. So I hope that helps. Make sure and let me know if you have any questions. You can email me at jennifer at jenlaner.com. Um, of course, you can also post on my Facebook wall. Um, or you can find me in our awesome Facebook group, The Front Row. And that is uh, facebook.com slash groups slash in the front row. Thanks, guys.